Right, exam question walkthrough. So we're gonna do three questions, two on standard form and one on converted to base unit over three videos. So this is the first question we're gonna to do together now. So let's do this first question. So we're being asked to write the following number in standard form. Number we've been given is 269.54. So remember, when doing standard form, the first thing we wanna do is turn this number into a number between one and 10. And we do that by moving the decimal point either to the left or to the right. Now if we move the decimal point to the left, then we're gonna have a positive power of 10. If we move the decimal point to the right, we're gonna have a negative power of 10. And obviously then once we've got our number, we're gonna, we're gonna write it as times 10 to the power of whatever we do. So however many times we move it, if we move it twice to the left, that's gonna be a positive power of 10, and it's gonna be two, because we move it two times. Let's do the example, it become clear now. So we're starting with 269.54. Okay, so to turn this into a number between one and 10, we're gonna to have to move this decimal point this way, aren't we, to here. So we're gonna go one, two. So we've moved our decimal point twice to the left. So what's our new number gonna look like? It's gonna look like this now. It's gonna look like 2.6954. Okay, so we moved our decimal point to the left. So we have a positive power of 10. And we moved it twice. So let's write this out in standard form now. So it's gonna be 2.6954 times 10 to the power of two. So let's recap. So we started off with 269.54. We know that we've got to turn it into a number between one and 10. So we did that. We moved the decimal point twice to the left and it gave us 2.6954. Okay. So we know that when we move the decimal point to the left, like we said here, it gives us a positive power of 10. And then the last step is just writing it out in standard form times 10 to the power of whatever we did. So remember when we say whatever we did, this, whatever we times the 10 by, the power of 10, is however many times we move the decimal point. So in this case, we moved it one, two times to the left. So that's gonna give us a positive power of 10. So that's why when we write this out in standard form, this number, we get 2.6954 times 10 to the power of two.